Hi, my name is Crystal Fletcher and welcome to All About Canadian Books. Today I'm so excited because we are going to get to know Gail Kirkpatrick. She is the author of Sleepers and Ties, which was published by Non Publishing. Welcome to All About Canadian Books, Gail. Hi, thank you so much for inviting me onto your All About Canadian Books. I'm really excited to be here. It is my pleasure, and I am excited to get to know you, Gail. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. When was the last time you went hiking? Um, last week, I think. Um, I, I just came back from a McNally Robinson launch in Saskatoon, and that was last Tuesday. So about last Thursday, I guess. Thursday or Wednesday or Thursday, yes. Oh, fabulous. And did you see any incredible wildlife when you were on the trails? Well, I always see eagles. There are a lot of eagles on Mount Doug, um, around Mount Doug. So they're always uh, there, um, which, you know, Mount Douglas on Vancouver Island has uh, taken back its traditional name of Pokols. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. So there are always eagles there. And I just hope I never see a cougar. <laughs> Oh, oh, how wonderful to see eagles. I'm jealous. <laughs> now, how you spend a lot of time in the outdoors. How has Mother Nature influenced your writing, Gail? Oh, my goodness. Um, I would say it's probably the main influence for my writing. Um, my mother once showed me a picture of me three years old watering the garden, and I went, what? <laughs> and so I was always outside. I spent a lot of time outside. Um, I, I was also lucky to spend um, a summer um, on Walden Pond. Um, <clears throat> pardon me, dip my toes in, in, in that pond. Um, and I do spend a lot of time uh, because the mountain is just 10 minutes. It's, it's a very small mountain, but it is a mountain 10 minutes away from my home. So I spend a lot of time going there, either letting go of the writing that I've been working on or just to be in nature. <clears throat> and I, I, I just love the change of the seasons. I love the air. You know, I live on the West Coast of Canada, <clears throat> pardon me. And so the ocean breeze is never far away. And it's not just, you know, having my feet in the dirt or my touching the trees and the leaves but I, I do look for kind of a spiritual connection as well. So I think that kind of cannot help but influence my writing. Oh, fabulous. Now, not only are you in about nature, out and about nature on the ground, you've also been known to jump on a surfboard in Hawaii. Gail, do tell. <laughs> well, there are surfers and there are people who jump on and fall off surfboards, but it's, you know, it, being in the ocean in any way, shape or form, <clears throat> I own a kayak, but I don't own a paddling board. And I might switch over to a paddling board because I was never a very good surfer, but I, but I love the small waves and I love the experience of it. So I, I really stick to uh, my kayak now and cold water swimming. <laughs> okay, stop right there. Cold water swimming. Do you, how often do you dip? <laughs> Well, I usually uh, start in about May. I, I don't have a wetsuit and um, I tend to be colder in the last few years than I have in previous years. So I, I swim from about May to late October. Um, uh, we have a really lovely beach here that is not as cold as what you would think. The, well, the Pacific Ocean is cold, but it's a kind of a little cove that uh, Todd Inlet, which in you know the Pacific Ocean flows into, but the water is generally warmer there than, well, let's not care ourselves. It's not warm, <laughs> but but uh, once you get used to it, you know it's great. I love it. And how long do you spend in that water? <laughs> Probably too long. Like my husband thinks that I might get hypothermia, but once I get in, I just never want to get out. So yeah, oh. up, you know, up to an hour. Oh. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Good for you. Now I am impressed. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you. <laughs> I love that. Now, Gail, 
thank you so much for answering my questions. It's been really fun getting to know you. And for viewers out there, please do not go away because Gail will be back and she's going to tell us the story behind her book, Sleepers and Ties. I will put links down below so you can purchase a copy of her book and also visit her website. Thank you for watching and thank you, Gail. Thank you. Thank you, Crystal. You're very welcome. Bye.